Hi, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go over Strawberry Mansion. Now in Strawberry Mansion, this was featured as well in my opportunities <laughs> video. This neighborhood is located in North Philly. It, there has been some renovations in this area where people have been, where a lot of where investors have been going in and renovating the homes. I want to take a deeper dive and I'm going to show you where those homes are and where you can find the opportunities to be able to hold as an investor and that could possibly be an investment of your own. So stay tuned. So here you are in Strawberry Mansion. A Strawberry Mansion is a part of North Philly. Um, so as you can tell, um, Strawberry Mansion is basically like a triangle shape for the borders. It starts at Lehigh Avenue, cuts off at, um, and then it um, comes down on, I believe, um, what is the street? North 18th Street, and then it cuts over on West Glenwood Avenue, down on or 629th Street, and then over there on West Oxford, and comes up on Ridge Avenue. Um, so, okay. So, well, not Ridge Avenue. Oh, sorry, I messed up. <laughs> on West Huntington Park Avenue. So, okay, as I said in my last, on my video, my opportunities video, it's right next to the park, right by the Schuylkill River. Um, it's a part of Fairmount Park, right next to Fairmount Park, because Fairmount Park is one of the largest parks in the nation, um, or at least in Philadelphia, I believe. I know it's definitely in Philadelphia. It's a big park. Uh, but I think it's in the nation. It's one of the largest parks. Um, so Strawberry Mansion, that is not an accurate picture of the East Fairmount Park, the Dell Music Center. I used to thought that was the Mad Man Center, but it's actually the Dell Music Center. And there is the historic Strawberry Mansion. Um, it's a historical place museum. I've never been in there. I didn't even know it was there. There was really a Strawberry Mansion that was there. But I guess it was this area was named after that because it's called Strawberry Mansion. So um, you could easily get into West Philly from Strawberry Mansion. You just have to cut through the park. You can cut right here and then take the bend over and cross over to cross over the river and bam you're in west philly you can get rest to west philly um you can go right into winfield heights you could take these ramps down and ride along the skewkel along martin luther king drive to get into um some areas of west philly so um but needless to say um strawberry mansion is it's definitely an opportunity that could be had. I had my one of my, my oldest had went to kindergarten in this, not the kindergarten. He went to preschool in this area. He went to Asalana Learning, um, which is a great pre-K program. Um, and it's free if you're if you qualify. Um, it's free. It's and pre-K counts and they take good, great care of the kids. Um, so that is daycare, um, that I can say that is definitely, that I can say that is definitely in this area. So, as in my other videos, there is, um, the homes in this area, they're definitely bigger. Um, there are certainly some smaller homes, but there definitely is a lot of bigger homes in this area, uh, where... Um, where you can definitely invest in. I know that if I get my, like I know there's definitely, um, people are definitely doing stuff on Dolphin Street and Dim Diamond Street. Um, Diamond Street is where there's a lot of the renovations going on. Um, and we have the Save-A-Lot, we have the regional rail that runs through this area. It, it basically does stem from, I think, one of the um, 
from one of the junctions, but North Philadelphia is um, a regional rail. Um, that's the closest stop from Strawberry Mansion. Um, okay, so there's Cecil B. Moore. Um, I wouldn't say that that things are definitely rough over here, or at least, I, I mean, I'll say it, it, it is a little rough, but it definitely needs some opportunity to have in this area. Uh, there is, um, there is small businesses. Um, however, as you can see here, there's really not a lot going on um, business-wise. There's some small, there's definitely some small businesses. Diamond Street is a major road. There, you have Ridge Avenue, which is definitely where most people like to, um, like to shop at um, in this area. Um, you have the Access Center right here. Um, and... get my stuff right if you bear with me um yeah the this area could definitely use some love some opportunities we have the fire station right here um and but yes there is there's definitely a lot of opportunities that can definitely be had in this in this area. But I know there's renovations in this area um, where there is definitely um, where there's definitely needs to be that that people are definitely flipping houses. They're flipping houses, but they're holding them and renting them out because you're so close. You're not that far from Temple. Uh, because there's Cecil B. Moore. Yes, you're you're about like twenty blocks over, but you know, but there is renovations because people because um you are able to get out into West Philly pretty quickly, and I know that there definitely is work along Diamond Street. So, but yes. There's definitely a lot of opportunity that can be had, and you're really close to Brewery Town too, where is that's definitely one of the one of the better neighborhoods. It's right there, and if anything, they're probably hitting up up here, starting the renovations right in this area. But yes, there definitely could be opportunities to be had in this area that it could definitely boost up the the morale of the community. Um, just riding through. Um, so that is Strawberry Mansion.